Yeah, well, hopefully it won't happen here to Elegant. Uh, of course, we did see Elegant. I think he lost to... I'm sorry, I kind of like set this one out at the sidelines. Who did Elegant play to get that kind of lost him in losers? He lost to Nico in winner's finals. Okay. It was 3-0, I believe. But, like, Elegant was keeping it very, very close. Matchup, obviously, really, really tough for Luigi. Mm -hmm. So... And if I'm not mistaken, Elegant's the one who sent him to losers, right? Correct. Yeah, Correct. okay. So this is a run back. It was game five, but I want to say, like, game four... Um, it was unfortunate that El Elegant SD game four, and then game four, like, and he was like, he had a huge lead. And then um, game five, like, Elegant, it looked pretty convincing for Elegant. Yeah. And of course, uh, the IE is one of Elegant's new homes. Of course, he has moved into the Inland Empire. Oh, really? Yeah. He uh, originally was from OC, oh. but I mean, he'll send Void back down to the IE if he has to with that down there. Uh, he originally was from Orange County, but he actually ended up moving up to the Inland Empire. Oh, okay. If, if IE, if Elegant's IE, okay. I, I can definitely see, like, it, it's competitive for between IE and A A18. A A18. A18. I'm for, trying, like, man. Best sub I'm trying, bro. I'm driving him out here. Nico told me, like, yo, man, I'm trying to go to MSI. I was like, I'm sleepy, but you know what? I will fight for my region to still be in place. Advanced, dude. The homie. Wow, jumping right out of that. That's the real homie right there, man. Arsen coming in in the nick yeah. of time. And right now, it looks like uh, Elegant again with full control. I wonder if this game is convincing, if we'll see a character switch or not. Down smash, still not enough, but the edge guard to follow. Boop. Yep, and he knows Elegant is yeah. going to have to try to go low, especially with that Louis Tornado. Sorry, Torpedo. Yeah. Ooh, there's a dash attack 15 just off of the second hit there. Very powerful move. But this is going to be Arsen taking his leave. We'll stall here just I to like get it. out of the way. I yeah. love the fact that Elegant already knew, okay, I'm going to try to space myself for the landing after take aim and then immediately push him for it, but Void was not going to give him that opportunity. Yeah, Void getting some of these trades, but um, the Elegant staying mm. on top here in that reverse up smash when to close out that second stalk. That's kind of the characteristic of any of the, the Mario Brother means, right? They kind of know when their opponent's going to be jumping, so they try to hit him with the up smash, especially the reverse hit of it. Back air, trading spacings at the ledge here, but that misfire was enough to put Elegant right yes. back on the stage. And that was actually incredible for Elegant positioning wise because he is not off stage anymore. Even though he got punished, he got his double jump back. Like, it's a really good situation. Very clutch uh, misfire there from or, Elegant. I like it. Elegant looking for the spacing, trying to respect our center as much as possible here. He has to go for that low recovery, but unfortunately, the super jump punch is not enough. He's a misfire. Here. No. Wow, it's like the first time tonight where Elegant needed a misfire to live and he didn't get it. <laughs> and last wow. time these two played, he had to go for a couple of like torpedoes, but he wasn't able to get them. Yeah. Oh, that's going to be a big punish to grab. Back air, yep. Big damage here. And again, Elegant tacking on enough damage for Arsene to take his lead. Wow, he didn't confirm that. That was that was dead. Yeah, that, that, that was. That sour Should have been, been a back air. But Elegant a little slow on the confirm there. Going to give Void a second chance. Oh, no. You're off to the side here, and unfortunately, no the direct, no air dodge. Sorry, there was, was an air dodge. That's it, yeah. I don't know if... What? I couldn't, I couldn't tell if you went for directional air dodge, but the fact that Void kind of know, he just was too much at the platform, man. Man, Void is making some crazy comebacks tonight. Yes. Like... I am... I am... This is... I mean, this is what we both wanted to see, right? Some of the best players in SoCal. Top three here in SoCal. Void, Elegant, and Nico battling it out here for an MSM. Just for an MSM, the last MSM of the yeah. year. Is this the last MSM of the year? Yeah, it should be, right? Right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm looking oh, at like, Nate, and he's looking, looking at, at Nate, me. Like, <laughs> Nate's like, I don't know, am I working next week? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, pre I'm pretty sure it's because I believe it's like the 23rd. The M yeah, MSM will be 23rd on a Monday. I don't have my phone on me to check it out. But here, well, I mean, you know what? doesn't matter here. This MSM does matter in terms of PR points. Either way, pretty stacked here. Void with the first point on the board. Loses finals. Dude, because Larry's number four, right? Yes. So top four was one through yeah. four. Cyro actually, so a little bit of information here. No, I know Cyro's four. Cyro's fifth. Oh, Cyro's fifth in the current PR. Uh, Cyro did mention to me he will be traveling um, out for winter break, so he won't be able to attend as much locals during the break. During the break, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so unfortunately that's kind of one of, that's going to put Cyro a little bit behind here in points. Yeah, I mean, but but Cyro's a local fiend. Like, I, yeah. I, I see Cyro go to a lot of locals, so much respect on that grind. Lost against Rafi at the Raceway Fridays. That's gonna, crazy. Yeah, yeah. it wasn't going to be kind for him. He did go joke about, hey, man, those points do matter for Rafi in that case. Back air four, elegant here. Oh, wow, tried to catch maybe a roll or a dash away. But Elegant staying true. Void with the lead, though, and the spot dodge in the down smash. Going to catch the backside, and it's going to send Elegant packing on the right side of the stage. 
Down throw. He's looking for the up air, and he gets it here. Back air. I guess Tornado wouldn't have killed because the Town of City has a high ceiling. Yeah. Oh, what's punish? Oh, wow. Arsene dipped. It's very uncharacteristic for Elegant to just to not know what percent he is. Tornado would have killed. He's pretty... Ooh. Right on the mark with it. Okay. The footstool into the down gun. That is a true um, confirm off of the uh, the footstool on the ground there. So very nice from Void. It looked like he set it up from a ledge jump. What was the tornado enough to kill? Beautiful nope. DI. You see how much room like you can just see off of the, the display on the top right. Yeah. You see how much room Town and City gives you on the top there. And it's pretty gracious too as well. That's kind of one of the changes from Smash 4 to Ultimate. We have closed the book on the first year of Ultimate, and of course, the game was enough to put Elegant in a low recovery. But Elegant, not panic jumping there. He, he knew he was going to take the bullets. Like, in, in that position, he knows that he's going to get shot. There's nothing he can do. And man, forward smash coming out from Void, dash towards the center stage, right into the forward smash. Really good. It's like, because you're making your opponent think, like, oh, hey, we're going to interact here, but actually, I'm going to dash back. Yes. Not there anymore, but this killing hitboxes. So one thing I really like that Void did here is he accounted for what happened the last time these two fought in winners. Elegant's favorite move to pull out the ledge is Tornado. Always. It's usually one of his top picks. It's very rare that I see him go for another option. And Void spaced that out. He knows, okay, you know, I've been getting caught by Tornado in winners. In losers, that's not going to happen. Yeah. And he immediately punished for him. Like you said, that dash back he had earlier amongst Elegant pretty much put him off the stage. And immediately Void knows what he has to do from there on. One thing that's going to separate the good Jokers from the great are... That fair, that footstool, man? I don't know. That's pretty... That, that was nice. Yeah, that was it nice. was nice. I'm but, telling you right now, man. Because, like, every Joker, like, anyone... I'm not going to say anyone, but it's it's a lot easier to mess up someone with Arsene. Like, yeah. most people or most, like, top-level or high-level Jokers will be able to do that. I but how that. good is your non-Arsene Joker at getting kills? I saw that for a longer, man. Don't worry about it. Just tell me, how hard is it to get carried by Arsene? <laughs> it's just the same, man. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Well, we're well, all friends here, man. <laughs> well, friends, yeah. But yeah, it, it just like if you can get those rebel guards, if you can get those forward smashes, you know what I mean, like, mm. and just rack up all that damage with the uh, Arsenless Joker. I mean, that's a big deal. No up smash. He could have got an up smash if he dashed to the right there. Probably would have killed. I mean, we aren't like I guess again we are in Town City, very uh, high ceilings. Yeah. I did like how Void earlier kind of chose the right get up option. He didn't panic. Oh. He just rolled away because he knew Elegant might go for a get up option. Bro. No back air for Elegant and the forward smash that reached. Yes, the lean back. And you thought, <laughs> you thought forward smash without Arsene was large. Man, put Arsene on that as well, and you are going to have a incredible, incredibly big move and incredibly powerful move as well. Man, this is so crazy because. Elegant kind of, I mean, it was like, like I said, it was game five, but it was a pretty convincing five games. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, ooh, wow, that was a very quick upbeat. Yeah, after that I thought was he was just dead from the misfire going no, too deep. No, he, he frame one and immediately knew, okay, I got to <laughs> upbeat before I die here. If not, it's going to be over. Ooh, yeah, he saw him go low. Shot, yeah. And in that situation, like, Joker has to usually upbeat at that angle, right? Yeah. Usually, like, we've seen Void mixing it up. Um, wow. Oh, no. Jeez. And it. Because it didn't sweet spot, it puts him at the wrong position Ooh. there. The directional air dodge to come right back after, to the ledge. Yeah, right after the um, side B connects. Usually, you can edge guard Luigi by getting hit by the side B on purpose, and then you just halt all of his air momentum. But Elegant made it close enough to the ledge where he could just buffer right into a directional air mm -hmm. dodge and get back on stage. That was so big for Elegant. Keeping Keep himself in this game. 80, 85 to 80 here. Just got to survive the onslaught of this somewhat fresh Arsene. We got we got about half left. Nice. He can I like Ooh. how he watched himself. He didn't want to get stretched away or put out position, but the down air will be enough. I mentioned only 24 frames of invincibility from that Wings of Rebellion. Yeah, and right there, we even saw how Elegant didn't like panic down air, right? Yeah. He didn't assume the timing. He just waited and reacted there. With that, you're going to get rewarded, and that down beat out of that pressure situation going to even rack up more damage for Elegant, but the rising down air will get punished when the smash out of shield here. Of course, I mentioned earlier, Elegance, one of his favorite things to do here from disadvantage is going to be Tornado. Yeah. yeah Loves to do it from the leg. Frame one, always go for it. Like so. I know Void kind of cut onto a couple games ago here, but it's going to be matter. It's going to really matter here if he wants to take a 3 0. Yeah, and Elegance doing a nice job of using these down Vs, essentially reading when Void wants to swing in, mm -hmm. right? Because you do have that intangibility. So he's pretty much drained his whole first Arsene. Oh, the four smash is almost enough. 103 here, being around that part of the stage where it actually takes damage for being off. 
Ooh, wow, Void going to work here. Oh, tech chase. Nice, and the Tech Chase is there with the up smash. He wanted to see where he was going, and he felt it. Yeah, it, I mean, it, it looked like it was going to be a Tech Chase. I definitely thought it was, but he, he did the air dodge before he hit the ground. Mm. But, like, pretty much a Tech Chase. Yeah, I mean, but we'll call it one. It's, it is what it is, man. Air dodge away, Tech roll away, same, same thing. Yeah, <laughs> tomato, tomato, man. But Elegant keeping himself in the set, and it was looking pretty grim. It was. Because uh, he's down 0-2. You know, Void had like a pretty much almost an entire stock lead on that second stock, but he kept it together, got himself on the board, taking it one game, one stock at a time here going into game number four. I will see how things will change here between Elegant and Void. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, right? He was getting really comfortable with Cyclone. Okay, and the fireballs are out. That's kind of we something want we... to win out here. Yeah, and we <laughs> didn't see fireballs so far the last few games. We rarely saw it. More fireballs this game than we saw the last ones. Good opportunity to see where Elegant was going to be. Put him off the stage here and wait for the landing. That take aim yeah. will take care of the stock like so. Yeah, right there. Void positioned himself to look like he was setting up another like drop down, double jump back air. Mm -hmm. That's why we saw Elegant Cyclone. And after that Cyclone, double jump or not, you're just in such a bad position. And Void just shot him up. I mean, we kind of saw him do that against Larry, too, where he was at a position where that down air was going to eat. He was looking to position himself that way. Yeah. Oh, wow. Void. <laughs> he knows exactly when those platforms come in. He looks at the timer, too. So he, he knows exactly when and where the platforms are coming in. So you, you saw him double jump literally right on top of that platform. <laughs> Very impressive. There's some other players that do that as well. I've seen James do that with Prom Up B. Like, he, he knew the platform was coming in. Mm -hmm. He was at Frostbite. Like, that was super hype. Wow. Oh, Rivers or? Rivers, Rivers. I was like, wait, I'm like, show you James? Or, uh, I know which James you might be talking about, but I want to make sure. Right, right, yeah, yeah. Rivers, <laughs> Rivers. I, I always mess it up because I'm so used to uh, Yeah, I, 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 kind of, I still remember him from Shoyo James, so I'm lucky. <laughs> right now, Void, pretty much up an entire stock, just not even, like, wanting to try and fight that uh that Cyclone, right? So just spacing around it. Almost catches the forward smash, but Elegant nearing right over him. And another rising aerial on block gonna get punished. Elegant's gotta be really careful what kind of rising aerials he does and where he does it. Because if you do it in front of Joker, Void's gonna be ready for that up smash. Yeah. 172 here, that back air the is enough and the tech. How? Wow, I'm I'm so surprised that wasn't untackable and I'm lost. What? I am as lost as Elegant's face is right there because I was surprised that it wasn't untackable.